This is the Dig Into English podcast with Ben Henschke, episode 11. Hi everyone, this is Ben and I'm back with the 11th episode of the Dig Into English podcast from digintoenglish.com. In episode 10, I gave you some tips for a successful job interview. After a job interview, how do you celebrate? Maybe you go out to a restaurant. That's what my sister did last night. She had a job interview yesterday, so she, her boyfriend and I went to a restaurant to celebrate. She was happy because she had finished her interview, and I was happy because we went to my favourite restaurant in Adelaide. It's an Ethiopian restaurant. Have you ever eaten Ethiopian food? Oh man, you've got to try it. You've got to try it, which is short for you have got to try it, is an informal way of saying that you should try something. I called the restaurant during the day to make a booking. I asked, do you have a table for three at 7.45? When you ask if they have a table at a certain time, you're asking if there is a table available. Luckily, the owner said that they did have a table. When we got to the restaurant, I said to him, I have a booking for three at 7.45 under the name of Ben. Under the name of is a natural expression, but if you can't remember it, then it would be just as good to say, I have a booking for Ben for three people at 7.45. That means the same thing. The restaurant wasn't very busy, and there were lots of empty tables, so he said, you can sit anywhere you like. Every dish at the restaurant is delicious, so when the waiter came to take our orders, we all chose mixed platters. These have four small portions of different dishes, so you can try several different things. After we ordered, the waiter brought us a bottle of water, but no cutlery. That's because in this restaurant, you don't need any cutlery, which is knives, forks and spoons. Instead, you eat with your hands. In Ethiopian cuisine, that's another way of saying Ethiopian cooking or Ethiopian food, the food is served on top of flat bread that covers the whole plate. You tear off pieces of bread with your hands and use the bread to pick up the meat or vegetables. The food is often spicy, so the bread helps to balance the spicy flavour. My sister couldn't eat all of her food because the portions are generous. If the portions are generous, then they're large. Her boyfriend and I were very happy that she couldn't finish her food. We quickly polished off the rest. That means that we quickly finished it. I'll post a photo of some Ethiopian food on the Dig Into English Facebook page, facebook.com slash dig into English. It doesn't look like much, which is another way of saying that it doesn't look great, or it doesn't look very good. Don't be disappointed though, because it definitely tastes better than it looks. Do you like going out to restaurants? What's your favourite cuisine? That is, your favourite type of food? Let me know in a comment on this episode's page dig into english.com slash episode 11 or on twitter at dig into english all of that food must have given me energy because i've already started writing the script for the next episode you can find this episode's script on this episode's page on the dig into english website i'll post the next episode on sunday after that 
I'll try to start a schedule for new episodes. I'll record three episodes per week and post them every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I'll try really hard to stick to that schedule, but of course, you should send me lots of angry emails if I'm ever late. So, I'll catch you in episode 12. Until then, enjoy eating and enjoy learning English. See you later.